Hello lovelies, those jingle bells are a rockin', which as you know means it is cookie time in my kitchen. And today I am making these absolutely incredible hot chocolate cookies. Yes, all of the yumminess of hot chocolate except encapsulated in cookie form. What is not to love? These are absolutely perfect as an edible gift for the holidays or just make a giant tray and save them all for yourself. So I'm gonna get started by mixing up my dry ingredients. In my bowl, I've got some all-purpose flour. And to that, I'm going to be adding some hot chocolate powder. So this is the kind that you buy in a tin or in the little packets. I'm using three quarters of a cup here, so you get that really beautiful hot chocolatey flavor. I've also got some baking powder headed in here. We want these cookies to have lots of nice lift and a little bit of salt. I'm gonna go ahead and use my handy dandy whisk to stir this all together. And then once that's all mixed up, I'm just gonna go ahead and set this aside while I get to work on mixing up my wet ingredients. So in a large mixing bowl here, I have got one cup of butter that I've brought to room temperature. It's always easiest to bake with room temperature butter. Um, it just makes your life a whole lot easier. To that, I'm going to be adding one cup of white sugar and half a cup of brown sugar. So when it comes to cookie making, the best cookies always have a combination of these two kinds of sugar. The white sugar gives a great texture, while that brown sugar has that slight molasses flavor that makes everything taste extra good, especially around the holidays. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use my hand mixer and beat that butter and sugar mixture until it's nice and light and fluffy. All right, so that is looking great. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add two eggs to this mixture as well as a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And once again, I'll just get in here with my hand mixer and blend that up until it's really well combined. Now that my wet ingredients are well incorporated, I'm gonna go ahead and add my dry ingredients, probably do this half at a time, mix that up until it's really nicely combined, and then I'll add the other half and mix that up until what I've got is this really nice chocolatey dough. The second those dry ingredients hit this bowl, I could smell the hot chocolate and it just brought back such awesome childhood memories. The nostalgia factor is real. All right guys, so I've got this beautiful hot chocolate infused dough and now it's time to add my mix-ins. So for this recipe, I opted for milk chocolate chips. This is totally a matter of personal preference. You could use dark chocolate here, you could use semi-sweet. Milk chocolate just happens to remind me the most of hot chocolate, so that's what's headed in here. But the most important ingredient in these cookies to really capture that essence of hot chocolate are my marshmallows. For this recipe, I am using dehydrated mini marshmallows. And what's important about these is that unlike regular marshmallows, which just sort of melt during the cooking process, these are gonna hold their shape. If you can't find them at your supermarket, you'll likely find them at a bulk food store or you can buy them online. I will link them in the description box below if you can't find them where you are. They are super tiny and they don't have any moisture in them. And that's really critical to getting the best texture in these cookies. Once I've got my marshmallows into my bowl, I'm just going to use a spoon and stir this all together until it's really well mixed. If your spoon's not working, feel free to do this with your hands instead, it's totally fine. And then it's gonna be time to shape my cookies. I've got a large baking sheet here lined with some parchment paper, and I'm gonna be doing this with a nice big scoop like this. This helps make sure that your cookies are nice and uniform. Once I've scooped out my dough, I'm just going to form it into a little puck shape and arrange it on my parchment lined baking sheet. This is a great job for the kids to help with. I always let Elle help me shape the cookies because it gives her something to do and occupies her attention for, you know, a half hour, 20 minutes or so. I should also mention this cookie dough freezes really, really well. So if you wanna make this in advance, you just shape your cookies and then freeze them then when it comes time for baking, you can just add a couple minutes to your bake time and they will be super good and fresh. Who doesn't like freshly baked cookies, am I right? Just before these head into the oven, what I like to do is to stud the tops of each of my cookies with some more milk chocolate chips and some more marshmallows. This is just a food styling trick that helps your cookies look extra fancy when they come out. It is optional, but I promise you, your cookies are going to be Instagram worthy if you do this extra step. 
All right, guys, these are ready to hit the oven. I've got it preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm gonna go ahead and let these bake away for between, say, nine and 11 minutes. The longer you bake them, the more crisp your cookies are gonna be. So if you're really into soft, chewy cookies like I am, opt for 10 minutes. And if you like your cookies a little more crispy, no problem, 12 or 13 minutes should do the trick. Yummy. By the time these come out of the oven, your entire kitchen is going to smell like a delicious steaming hot cup of hot chocolate. And that's how you know you are in the promised land. The hardest part is just letting them cool. I don't know what else to say about it. These cookies are totally irresistible. They are so chocolatey, so decadent, so holiday worthy. And I really hope you will give them a try for yourselves. I have to guess that these hot chocolate cookies would be 100% Santa approved. I hope you love this recipe as much as I do and that you will give it a try for yourselves. If you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo because you know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. Remember, this recipe, like all of my recipes, is featured on my website, thedomesticgeek.com. I've also linked it in the description box below so you can find it there. Thank you guys, as always, so much for watching. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more holiday deliciousness where this came from.